Hi everybody, it's BB. Welcome to my channel. It's been a while. It's been a while. I've been uh, sick uh, pretty much since jury duty on Halloween and it's snowbird season here. So all the germs come down from up north. So we love you to come down, but keep your germs above the Florida Georgia line. Thank you very much. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a quick update of some of the projects I've been working on. I've been off this week. I always take the week um, after Thanksgiving off. Uh, today is our 27th wedding anniversary, so I'm very happy about that. And just show you some of the iron-on vinyl projects and regular vinyl projects I've been working on. So those of you uh, that do vinyl and have seen all the uh, wonderful projects at the uh, Dollar Tree, these are the neoprene pot holders neoprene's on the back and so I did two in black and two in brown these were the only only ones I could find so if this is a project that interests you look for these year-round at the Dollar Tree because people have gone in there and bought them all I wanted the red and green but they're they're sold out so what I do is put a little whisk in a mix of either brownies or cookies or biscuits or or whatever that the person likes they were very easy to do I cut it out with my Cricut Explorer and I just use an iron I don't have a heat press maybe down the road we'll see still learning how to use the vinyl but it's fun uh, next thing is I made some just some little ornaments for my boss and his family I always get them a uh, family gift and then I make them a little something so these are the uh, glass ornaments these are glass um, I got these at Hobby Lobby last year after Christmas they were like 90% off so the box of four is $7.99 so you do the math so uh, this is for the wife and on the back I just put a little cross she does a lot of volunteer work through her church and then this is my boss and as you can tell he's a lawyer so just put the little scales of justice and this is his son Brendan and Brendan is a very talented artist very very talented I hope uh, someday somebody buys one of his works because they're just wonderful and he's also a great musician so I put a little guitar on the back of his ornament for him and this is for his girlfriend that's uh, coming down uh, to spend the holidays with the fam and she's a graphic designer so I made her a little computer on the back and um, their daughter passed away a few years ago, so I wanted to remember her, too. Uh, she's the same age as my daughter, so, um, you know, I've known her since she was born and uh, really struck home. So, anyway, this is for her and little angel wings on the back. So, that was pretty, uh, those are very, very simple. Let me just uh, pull another one up. Uh, most people use uh, polycrylic. It's a floor waxy thing. I'm cheap. I <laughs> use the liquid suave hairspray, pour it in, swish it around, pour the glitter in, swish it around, let it dry, dump it out. And we're here in South Florida, and our ornaments stay up in the attic where it's hot as you know what, and I've never had the glitter fall out. So, you know, whatever you like to do, however you like to do it, whatever floats your boat. Uh, the next project I was working on was something for my brother and he is a um, he, he works for a major airline and does a lot of the uh, repairs and what he does for his crew because they work a lot of times they work kind of like a fireman schedule sometimes they'll work either 12 on or 24 on or 36 on um, it just depends what what's going on and he will cook for the guys and he's an excellent barbecuer, smoker, um, he does competitions, and he's very tall, and um, my brother's let his hair grow, it's almost down to his waist, and he wears it in a braid in the back, and it's, you know, totally gray, 
and uh, his friends call him Yeti. So I got him an apron, and whew, hopefully you see this. It says "Kiss the Yeti," and for him being Yeti, they call him you know Sasquatch. So I had to put a couple Sasquatches on the pockets. So I hope he likes that. And I have my granddaughter coming over this weekend. And we are going to ta -da, ta -da, work to bake and do a gingerbread house. So I made her her little apron. Again, that was all cut out with my Cricut Explore glitter iron on vinyl. <sighs> Love the way it looks. It's not the easiest to work with. Um, it takes a lot of practice. So, that being said, um, I still had fun doing it. So, that's some of the things I've been working on. Would love to hear what you guys have been doing. Um, I finally have a voice back. It's taken me all these weeks not to cough uh, when I talk. But, yeah, this thing is really uh, brutal, whatever this is, is going around. And got the, oops, I'm going to move this way. Say hi, Santa. Um, I'm going to do a video later when it gets uh, dark with, with everything lit up in the house so you guys can see. Uh, I'm a major Christmas freak. Love Christmas. So um, would love to see what you guys are decorating, curating for Christmas, making for Christmas. And just uh, happy to be here, guys. So have a great day. Make it a crafty one. Bye now.